Hi, kids. I'm construction foreman Dave. If you like bulldozers, hop on board with real wheels. I shouldn't have done that. Dave and Becky get in all sorts of silly trouble with everything on wheels. Hi, kids. I'm Fireman Dave. Get all kinds of fun videos about everything from fire trucks to trains to police cars and even Santa. Drive off with the whole Real Wheels collection from Kid Vision. When you want to sing and dance, play rock and Real Wheels. Get the songs that get you going. We are the trains on the railroad track. Woo, woo, choo, choo, and click and clack. If you wait to us, we'll wave right back. We are the trains on the track. Get rock and real wheels from Kid Vision. <laughs> Say hello to real animals when you spend a day with lions. <laughs> a day with horses, monkeys, whales, and more. You'll have a whale of a time with real animals from Kid Vision. Wish you could be a cowboy or a beautiful ballerina? Then make sure to see Dream Big. Who are you? Willie's the name. Wishing's the game. You get one wish from Wishing Well Willie. Really? You can do things you've always dreamed of. Just ask Willie. You can do it, Tommy. Go! Go! Make your wish come true with Dream Big videos. I wish I were a cowboy and a football player. Or I wish I were a ballerina and a cheerleader. Vision has the silliest, gee williest dogs you ever saw. And now you can have them with Faye Presents Alphabet Soup. Meet Faye Ray, Batty, Chundo, and Crookie. They'll teach you the ABCs in the craziest ways. Fetch your videos, Faye Presents Alphabet Soup, and the 12 Days of Christmas from Kid Vision. From the number one name in videos for kids. Kid Vision!
nuts. I thought he wanted to land here. Hi, Pokey. Mind if we put up these posters? No. It's announcing our concert tomorrow. I wish Lowbelly would listen to something else occasionally. Pokey, do you know where Gumby is? Nope. Pokey, if you find Gumby, remind him of the rehearsal at the barn, will you? Maybe if I feel like it. Well, that's not like Pokey. Hey, maybe he ate some bad hay or wild oats. <laughs> I'll find Gumby for myself. Not for them. You did a fine job, son. Clay boys, may boys, who cares anyhow? Gumby! Are you up there, Gumby? Pokey, when are you going to learn not to stand by this pole? Yeah! Look out, Pokey! Get off the path! somebody where he goes. Well, go, here we go. I won't believe it. It can't be true. To believe or not to believe, that is the question. You better start believing it, because I'm uncomfortable. Now, everybody pull himself together. I, I mean, apart. Impossible, Go. Somebody call an ambulance. This is the worst case of multiple compound fusion I've ever seen. This has got to be a dream. We need a cross-section on the cat scanorama. Just as I thought. These dark areas indicate complete fusion to an acute homogenized state. Hmm. Nurse, place these patients immediately in the deconfusion chamber. Set for Meg 4, sine wave pulse 16 at 30 dB to start. I'm not used to this new model. One more and we're set to go. Now, let's just see how our patients are doing here. I'm scared! Wait till you see the hospital, Bill. I still can't believe it. 
All right, start slowly and use the micro double sink pulse. But it's working, it's working. Oh my, we, we've split the chromosomes. We've got to reverse it. A patch in the DNA synthesizer component immediately. All right now, easy. Phase in the micropulse. Open the DC. Well, fellas, how do you feel? I feel like a dinosaur again, but for a while I was worried. <laughs> yes, well, I was too. Now I don't want you to worry about any hospital bill either. It's all free. Chalk it up to research. You helped us prove what this machine can do. You are welcome to have lunch before you leave. No, thanks. I'm getting out of this weird place. I'm beginning to feel like a guinea pig. Say, do you guys know where Gumby might go to look for new ideas for his concert? Well, I would look in the book department. You know how he likes books. Yeah, I had no idea what I was until I read a book on dinosaurs. Say, maybe we could find out what you oh, are, Goob. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Freckle, you and Goo look for Gumby in the first two books. I'll search in this one. through searching for Gumby in these books. It's dangerous. Oh, I'm sorry, Pokey. I didn't know you were there. We were looking for you, Gumby. for the farm. Come on, Pokey, get in. We're going to the farm. Did you want to stay here? Well, then, come on.
okay, lady? I guess I'm all right. Oh! <laughs> Did a car hit you? No, I just learned the loan company is taking away our farm. <laughs> Gosh, it must be awful losing your farm. It just shows you that to borrow money is dangerous. Thank you, young man. Lady, is there anything we can do to help? I'm afraid not. The Easy Loan Company is taking our farms because we can't make our payments. We had so little rain last year that our crops couldn't grow. Oh, I don't know what we'll do. I just can't tell my children they won't have a home anymore. Ben Buckle and Pat Buckle, come here a minute. Uh-uh. Looks as if Gumby's up to something, as usual. You've got good ears, Pokey. Maybe you can overhear what they're saying. I'm not interested. What about Farmer's Benefit? Fat Buckle, I like the sound of Farmer's Benefit. Is it settled? We have benefit concerts? I'm all for it. I'm all for it. KDOG on your radio dial. No, low belly, not now. Chuck, chow, chuck, chow, chuck. A one, two, a three. You know, Goo, I think Pokey is sick. He's still in the back seat of the car. Oh, Pokey's hurt. Because Gumby spends so much time now with the Clay Boys. They usually do almost everything together. Yeah, I guess Pokey feels left out. out of some books. I'll show you what I mean. Play our next piece. the garden. Uh, say, where's Pokey? He's usually always hungry. <laughs> oh, he's still out in the car. He's feeling bad about something. Golly. Uh, I'd better go see what's the matter. Pokey, what's the matter? Are you sick? Oh. Uh... I'm not much good to you anymore. Now that you're always playing with the clay boys. Oh, I didn't realize you felt left out. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. You were going to be with me in the new dance act. 
You'll be out in the front of the band with me. Sounds like fun. I'm suddenly real hungry. Goo fixed you a carrot cucumber tomato sandwich. Here, low belly, here's your lunch. Oh, what a pretty marble. Gumby, look at this strange marble I found in the hay. Isn't it beautiful? It's a beauty, all right. But I don't think it's a marble. It looks like a pearl. Here, Thin Buckle, what does it look like to you? It sure looks like a pearl my dad bought from my mother. And it cost a lot of money, man. I'll bet it's a real pearl. I say it's worth at least a thousand dollars. Well, I'm going to show it to Professor Cap. He'll tell us if it's real for sure. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Professor. I shouldn't pop in on you so fast like that. Oh, don't worry, son. That was just one of my many unsuccessful experiments. Uh, no harm done, really. Oh, <laughs> my. Now then, uh, what can I do for you, Gumby? Goo found this in our barn. We thought that you could tell us if it's a real pearl or not. No. <clears throat> uh, now, um, let me have a good look at this with my crystal laser analyzer. Oh, and on this screen over here, we'll soon get the answer. Chemical calcium carbonate type. Wow, thank you, Professor. This will be a good start on our Farmer's Benefit Fund. We are having a benefit concert in a park tomorrow, and you are invited. Oh, thank you, Gumby. I wouldn't miss it for anything. <laughs> does things to my brain. <laughs> it does things to my spine. It makes me feel funny all over.
This is going to rock the scientific world. Belly. They don't allow dogs here. We won't stay long. You can play the radio. This is KDOG on your radio dial, brought to you by this United Cops of America. And now we return That's their to mascot, the Logan. Bone, He's cute. <laughs> Duplication phase of electronic robot complete. All circuits in place. All systems go for duplication. Ready to activate. Shorted out. Need repair. Repair mode ready to activate. Take this back and bring me another thick shake. And get your circuits fixed before you make another mess. you get hungry. 
We won't be much longer. We loved your concert, Gumby. May we have your autograph? Sure. That robot really has his wires crossed. <laughs> Golly, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, Sonny. Yeah, yeah, it's my fault, really. You see, uh, I told that robot I wanted to meet you, not eat you. My name's Lucky Claiborne. I was at your concert today. I liked it very much. I'm a talent agent, and I like to help you make it big in show business and TV. Come see me at our studio, Mr. Claybert, and we'll talk. Yeah, you may call me lucky. Young man, you're going to make television history. As long as we can help the small farmers. Farmers? Hey, Prickle, it brought you a new shake. It's about time. I thought this piece of junk would never come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get back to my lab right now. Oh, yeah. well, we've got to go, too. We've a lot of rehearsing to do. We'll drop you off at your lab. Hey, I haven't had my strawberry shake yet. Subject will respond only to live music by same instruments. This is great, Tara. We can hear them rehearse. And when they leave for a concert, we can follow them. Oh, look, Ginger. Someone important is coming up the road. Hello, Mr. Claybert. We've been expecting you. Just follow me. Yes, this boggles my brain. Fantastic. Mm. Young man, you have a unique talent. And a perfect medium for that talent is video music television. You and the Clay Boys are unknown. You don't even have a record out. But you do your thing on videotape and disc, and everybody will know you overnight. 
just signed his contract, and I'll arrange for camera crews to come right over and begin taping as soon as possible. Well, before I sign, I must have the okay from all my colleagues. What do you say, fellas? Sign! Sign! Mr. Claybert? Yes, yes, yes. Just, just call me Lucky. Well, Lucky, you've got a deal. Hooray! 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 Look, a television van. saw low belly do that so fast before. Hey, fellas, what do you know? Our first break on TV. Lucky sure works fast. Man, our first TV appearance. Wow! Think I should get a haircut? Look, Ginger, a television appearance. We'll follow them to the station. Let's get in my car now. I'm so glad they turned on the air conditioner. If they'd only turn a light on now. Boy, the driver must think he's going to a fire. Wish we were going to a fire. This air conditioning is freezing. <sighs> where they turned off the road. But there's no road there, Tara. They escaped this book. Well, so can we. Ah, I see their tire tracks where they turned here. That's no TV station. And what's wrong with the Clay Boys? Yeah, this is weird. We'd better investigate. television cameras and you won't either look Tara what are they doing to thin buckle I, I mean the robot you are to capture Gumby and bring them here they're programming the robot to do something I can't see or hear what it is.
lazy dog. Look out, Prickle. Oh, my! Poor Low Belly is all covered with manure. What's the matter with that dumb dog? He's never chased after Tilly before. Low Belly, you know better than to chase Tilly. Now we're going to have to give you a bath. We're ready, Gumby. Bring your instruments. What's the water for, Goo? We're gonna give Low Belly a bath. He's all covered with manure. <laughs> what next? Put the instruments far back in the van, Gumby. Stinking dog coming up. Holy Toledo, what happened? I think something awful has happened to Low Belly. Hey, this wasn't Low Belly. This was a robot. I thought he was acting strange ever since we left the cafe. Oh, then where is Low Belly? Somebody kidnapped him, that's for sure. They made a robot copy of him. We gotta catch up with Gumby and tell him. Come on! Goo, while I try to fix the motor, you better look up the number of that TV station, KBLK, and try to phone Gumby. Duplication is complete. Gumby Robot is ready for a music performance. Looks like Gumby needs help, Tara. Ginger, don't worry. Gumby can take care of himself. Just wait and see. Gumby and the Clay Boys are all locked up in cold rooms. We ought to do something. Wait, I want to see what these blockheads are trying to do. Robot ready to activate.
when the Gumby robot sheet will be displayed on this screen. Use joysticks to control action. Don't you remember the title of the book, Tara? I'll know it when I see it. Ah, there it is. Whoops, the wrong book. Sorry, Ginger. Well, Ginger, I guess I'm lost. I don't know which way to go. Tara, there's the TV truck. Looks like Gumby driving. It's not Gumby. That's the robot, which means more trouble. I'm going to follow it. There's the book I was looking for. And <gasps> the robot's going to Gumby's studio. Ginger, we have to warn Gumby's pals. Hang on. and I couldn't find the phone number for the TV station to tell you. Your car is a real clunker. It won't start. No, the bad news is that Lowbelly's been kidnapped. Whoever did it made a robot copy of him to fool us. Oh, well, I think I know where to find Lowbelly. Come on, get in the van and we'll go find him. Can't I ride with you in the cab? Ah. Don't get in the truck! That's not Gumby! It's a robot! It'll lock you in there the way Gumby was kidnapped! Run! That's not Gumby, for sure. Time to head for the hills. I have an idea how to fix this robot. Gumby Robot's video transmission has been interrupted. Until difficulty is corrected, select Defensive Program, Class A, Evasive. Hooray! Good shooting, Goo. Somebody's coming up the driveway. Hi, kids. Uh, what's this TV truck doing here? Oh, Mr. Claybert, it's not a TV truck. Gumby and the Clayboys were kidnapped in it. Yeah, we don't know where they are. We know where they are. Well, there's no time to lose. I've scheduled TV camera and sound crews to be here in two hours. So hop in, everybody. Hop in. I'm sorry, but I can't remember the title of the book where Gumby is. We remember what's in the book. What's in the book? There's computers galore. And they make robots. Good. That narrows it down. Let's all spread out and each look for titles that say computer or robot. Hey, come here, everybody. I think I found the book. 
This is it. Follow me. Hey, wait a minute. This could be dangerous. Let's call the police. Uh, no time for that, Prickle. Just stick together and we'll be okay. Shh. Now be very quiet as we enter. I'll check first to see what's happening. Still experiencing interference with video transmission from Gumby Robot. The blockheads are distracted now. Gumby and his friends. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. That must be the room. Now hurry. Oh, no. The door is locked. I saw the blockhead use a key card here. I'll get it from one of them. Video now restored. Gumby Robot now ready to continue mission to capture spies. Reactive controls. Ah, here's the key. I tell you, it's cold in here. Colder than a witch's heart. Must be a light switch here someplace. Prickle, turn up that thermostat. And Goo, will you find a cup of hot soup, please? This'll heat up the party. a robot that made soup. Control. Reactive control. Reactive control. Hi, Lucky. Hey, where am I? You're in a science lab, Sonny. Hey, what happened to Fat Buckle? Sin buckle and no buckle. Oh yes, they're okay. They'll wake up in a few minutes. No problem. Whatever happened? And who's playing the music so badly? You won't believe it. Come take a look. They're all robots, Gumby. They sound awful. Temporary deactivation of Playboy robots is complete. The purpose of this program is to obtain pearls from the subject globally. When the Playboy band plays live music, the subject will produce tears that become pearls. But our music isn't sad. That's where the pearl came from. And that's why they kidnapped the whole band. To complete mission, the Gumby Robot awaits your command. Gumby Robot? Hey, that's our barn on the screen and my car. Yeah, there's a robot at your barn that looks exactly like you. And the monitor is showing you what it sees. Well, I certainly want to deactivate the Gumby robot. Gumby, we better go to your studio now. 
The camera and sound crews will be there shortly. Prickle, will you see if the clay boys are awake? Roger, Gumby. Leaping Tyrannosaurus, it's hot in here. Gumby, come look. We've got problems. I'll call Professor Cap. He'll know what to do. A professor? Oh, yes, a three meltdown. Well, now, normally it's serious, but I have a new invention that will handle the problem, so don't worry. Bring them over right away. <laughs> now, Gumby, will you and Mr. Claybird please move those sound emitters and speakers to you, Gumby, <laughs> so they are directly over the subject. Oh, that's fine, gentlemen, fine. Now, we'll give her a try. Oh, oh I blew a fuse. The system has never handled three subjects at once before. Oh, no. Go, will you check in the van for any missing instruments or amps? Hey! Goo! Oh, goo! Oh, leaping to run us! Gumby, will you answer that while I start the system up again? Hello, this is Professor Cap's laboratory. Gumby? Prickle? Yeah, Goo has been kidnapped by the robot that looks like you. It just drove away with Goo locked in the van. Prickle? Have Pokey go to my father and take along the Groovy and meet me at All About Robots, Toronto. And I'll meet them there. Oh, Gumby, do you know how much the camera and sound crews charge an hour? I can't help it, Lucky. They'll just have to wait. Goo is in serious trouble. Hooray! It's working again! And you fellows stand by and watch over there. How do you feel, fellas? I feel great! Goo is in serious trouble and I have to go help her. Good luck. So long. I'll see you at the barn.
can I do for thee, Sonny? Um, I need a suit of armor and a good sword. Well, armor I got. But last week, some baron started a war, and the local knights cleaned me out of swords, and I'm back ordered for several days. Fit me out in a suit of armor, then. I'll find a sword somewhere. Now, come to think of it, the best sword in the kingdom is still available. I'll take it. It's out in the courtyard, stuck in a rock. It belongs to the first swordsman who can pull it out. But first, I'll fit you out with a good suit of armor. You're in odd shape, but that should do it. Sir, which way to the courtyard? Go left up the street, through the last archway. Oh, thank you. Looking knight at trying to pull the sword out. <laughs> <laughs> that knight would do well in a carnival. Sir Lancelot, the lad needs a sword. Uh, hold on, Sir Galahad. This man is resourceful. Look! <laughs> Sir Galahad, I think you are right. The lad does need a sword. Hey, green one up there. Here, catch this. Thanks, Sir Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Galahad, the green lad didn't need a sword. He needed wings. <laughs> I heard that remark, sir. You see, I've just begun to fight. Holy monastery, the lad's a magician.
up. Of course, sir. Analysis and loading of the Gumpy Sword play data is now complete. Programming of robot counteraction in process. Programming now complete. Press R for attack mode. Accomplished. Robot ready to return to home base for repairs.
Smokey, are you sure Gumby told you to meet him here? I don't see any smoke or fire. That's what Prickle told me. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. Where's the fire? No fire, Dad. There's a dangerous robot after us. It looks just like me. And the only way to stop it is get it wet and short out its electrical circuits. But why would a robot be after you, Gumby? I'll explain later, Dad. It's going to be here any minute now. Would you back the engine over there, out of sight? And I'll be standing in front of the robot book. When the robot attacks me, fire the monitor straight bore at it and soak it. If you say so, son. Target. Contact 10, 10 seconds. 9 seconds. 8 seconds. 7 seconds. Now, Dad! Cricket <laughs> remail function. Robot repair mode suggested. Toledo. Playboy robots are now programmed for pursuit. Uh-oh, Gumby. Look, more robots. Holy Toledo. Let's go get goo. Tara, would you pick up my mother now and, and meet us at the barn? Sure. Emergency. Intruders have been detected. Press command key to apprehend. Go get him, Groby. Situation impossible. Press escape key to abandon this operation. <laughs> nice work, Groovy. Now, let's find Goo. Oh, no. Pokey, where's the whistle that stops the Groovy? Oh, nuts. I left it on the seat in the fire truck. How's Goo doing? I think she's warming up okay. Oh, what happened? You were kidnapped, and we rescued you. And we're on our way back to the studio. Dad, we are late for our taping session. In that case, son, we'll pretend we're on our way to a fire. Uh... Oh, dear. If Gumby doesn't show up soon, I'll be ruined. All the sound and video equipment and the crews are costing me a fortune. Oh, what a bummer. Sure 
sure good to see you, little belly. Gumby, we are all ready and waiting. Be right with you, Lucky. Here's the cookies for your picnic, son. Here, Goo. I'll start getting things ready for the picnic. Hi, Professor. Oh, my. Am I late, Gumby? Now, just go into the barn and find a seat, Professor. Wonderful, wonderful. I've been looking forward to this. Hey, Gumby, how much longer do I have to stay up here and guard these characters? You did a good job, Pokey. You can go inside now. I want to have a talk with the blockheads alone. Gumby, one member of your band is missing. Fellas, where is No Buckle? <laughs> where else? Just look for the Z's. You know what to do, fellas. Ready? Do it! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> Sorry, fellas! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've all had our fun. Now take your places. Lights. Okay, Lucky. We're ready. Quiet on the set. Roll the cameras. Action. Title, Gumby Mania. Introduction, take one. Holy Toledo! Shush. That's your cue, Pokey. Go ahead. You're on, boy. Oh, all right.
One, two, three, four, fade. Yes, good show, good show. Wrap it up. Bravo, 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 back in my normal shape again, aren't you? You thought I'd left you till you cried pearls, didn't you? Well, I'd never leave you, low belly. I'm hungry. When is this picnic, anyway? Pretty soon, Pokey. Will you go and invite our farmer neighbors? It'll be under the old oak tree. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce someone who has a special announcement for all farmers. Gumby! First, I want to thank the person who made possible our new farm loan company, Lucky Klebert! <laughs> With the money from the videotapes and from these pearls, we can make loans to help save a lot of farms and send the kids to college. Gumby, look at the sign! Uh-oh! No, Bucko! Yeah? You forgot the decimal point! Ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho-ho! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't want to see a single weed in that garden. Well, mission accomplished, Pokey. Yeah, things are looking up around here now. And through walls First he's here And now he's there He's short Now he's tall Look over there I must be seeing things He just popped out of the ground He's kind of funny And wild all the time It's such a wonderful show trip to outer space before he ever comes down turn on the tv he's got a guitar he made his own video he's doing backflips and shredding way 
Holy Toledo! 